In this video, we'll look at whether magnesium hydroxide, that's MgOH2, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the compound overall, it's ionic. But when we look at the bond between the O and the H in the hydroxide ion, these bonds here are covalent. So when we look at the periodic table, we have magnesium here. Magnesium, that's a metal. So we have a metal, and then oxygen, that's a nonmetal. And then hydrogen, that's over here, that's also a nonmetal. So when we have metal and nonmetals, that's going to be an ionic compound. When we have ionic compounds, we need to think about the ionic charge. So let's look at the periodic table here and find magnesium again. That's in group 2. Group 2 elements have a 2 plus ionic charge. The hydroxide ion, that's really one you need to remember. The whole hydroxide ion here has a 1 minus charge. We just write a minus. Note that we have two hydroxides. So we have a 2 minus here, 2 plus. So the net charge is 0. It balances out. And the positive and the negative ions, they're attracted, and that makes the ionic bond. Let's talk briefly, though, about the hydroxide ion. So we said oxygen. That was a nonmetal. And then hydrogen, we said, is also a nonmetal. So when we have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that's going to be a covalent bond also called molecular bonds sometimes. So overall, we have the positive magnesium and the negative hydroxide ions. They're attracted, and we have ions. It's an ionic bond. But within the hydroxide, within the OH, that oxygen and hydrogen is bonded pretty tightly, so it stays together. And those bonds, those are covalent bonds. This is Dr. B answering the question whether magnesium hydroxide is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.